it's not superficial. You know, it's deep, deep thinking about root things, you know, like how to set up a society. What are morals? What are virtues? Um, how do we decide how to think? And it's really, it's very enriching. I saw that you finished the Plato and the Aristotle courses, and I know you've had some uh, plans to read the Dugan and to study the Dugan and to, and to watch. I read, um, I read I, the fourth political theory. Okay. So I would be very curious to know uh, the kind of like, whether you're getting something out of the courses, out of the materials, is the course material on the right track? Is it helpful? And are you finding it valuable? Uh, and also like, is it solving the kinds of questions that you had going in to the school in the first place, the things that you were looking for? Yeah, I think it's great. I'm, you know, it's really challenging my ability to think and um, maintain a, a, a line of thought without just abandoning it because it's difficult, you know? And the Plato I read three times and watched the lectures. You know, I, I read the whole book, then I would watch a lecture. So then I would read chapter one or book one, watch the lecture and read book one again. And then at the very end, I read the whole book again. <laughs> So the so the lectures so far, you're, are you finding that they are a valuable contribution to what you're reading? Absolutely, because um, the the texts are difficult, and you make it a lot easier to understand. You know, and I like that you go through it pretty deeply. You know, you hold up the book and you show us you're doing little bits at a time, and I think at the very end you didn't do everything for the Aristotle. I think you and. Yeah, you, you like skipped a couple of books, but that was fine because it's very rich what you do. And I really appreciate it. It's, it's extremely helpful. However, I came to your classes. I'm very um, happy to have discovered you and to be um, so pleased with the quality of the lectures and the fact that I'm actually reading these books finally because I've thought about reading philosophy for decades, you know. So, and I, I've read, I don't know if you know, you probably don't know, um, Aidan Steinsaltz. He's a very well-known Jewish, um, I wouldn't call him a mystic, but thinker. And um, I read these three books of his, and they're about um, sort of esoteric things in, in Judaism, and they were great. They're also hard to understand. I read them a few times. And then I read the um, Soloveitchek book already which I liked. And I like the fact that you're including some Jewish author, a Jewish author, because, you know, knowing that some of these philosophers had Nazi leanings, um, you know, I'm not thrilled about, but I appreciate what you're saying about them because, you know, people try different things. They think different things and then they evolve, you know, I've evolved a lot. You know, I used to be a, not a flaming leftist, but, you know, I used to be, a Democrat, you know, and I, and I, and I never bought into climate change, but, you know, I used to, or this gender craziness, because that's kind of new, all that's compared to me, my age. But, um, you know, I was a Democrat and I remember my mother sitting at the table saying, oh, the Republicans, all they're interested in is big business. So I didn't have any political um, education or awareness, but after I retired, I started reading a lot more and getting other sides of the argument. So I became more conservative. So I like, one of the reasons I like what I'm reading through the philosophy courses is that it's not, um, it's not superficial. You know, it's deep, deep thinking about root things, you know, like how to set up a society. What are morals? What are virtues? Um, how do we decide how to think? Like the friendship one, which I just finished reading, you know, it, it tears, it takes it apart in all these different levels and aspects. And it's really, it's very enriching. I really, I'm really enjoying it. So it's like the truth. It's like reading the truth and learning the truth. And, um, but it's not pedantic or, um, or partisan. It's just the truth about life and about people and about how we interact and how we, um, how we approach life and how to improve ourselves, you know, how to live. And that's what I really like about both the Plato and the Aristotle. It's how to live the best life. 
you know, it's about happiness and what is happiness, you know, it doesn't mean just eating a good meal <laughs> or being with friends. It's all, there are a lot of different aspects to happiness. Um, I like that you had the seminar for the, for the Republic and um, didn't you have one lecture for that in Aristotle? I can't remember. Yes. Yeah. yeah. But it was great because they asked such good questions. You had, you know, you have high quality people who are interested in learning this stuff that is difficult and they're as they're learning it, they're interacting, they're asking questions, they're giving feedback. And there were some questions that I hadn't thought of that were so good. And some of the people had already read some other things. So they were bringing those ideas into what you were teaching. And I, I thought it was, was really good.